the world's largest student competition. The Holt Prize encourages business students to set up enterprises that tackle key issues. Game changing ideas to critical 21st century challenges. And so the right founders are tinkerers. What's going on guys, it's Alex here and today we're doing a day in the life of a CEO. I don't know what this man is doing right now in the middle of the lane, literally not moving. I don't know what's wrong with him. If you live in Northern Virginia, you basically deal with this all the time. Just crazy drivers, I don't know what they're doing. <laughs> and I'm saying that as I'm vlogging and driving. But anyways, so today we're doing a day in the life of a CEO. Today, we're gonna be following around a very successful CEO from my area. His name's Ahmed Ashgir. He owns a couple businesses. He's an investor, he does a lot of stuff, but he's mainly known for a foundation he founded about 10, 11 years ago called the Whole Prize Foundation. Former President Clinton personally selected the challenge in what has rapidly become the world's largest student competition. The Holt Prize encourages business students to set up enterprises that tackle key issues. Issues. This year's challenge, the global food crisis. More than 10,000 applicants are competing for $1 million in startup funding. Ahmed Ashkar uh, is the founder and CEO of the Holt Prize. He joins us now from Washington. Thank you so much for being with us. So I was on my way to one of Ahmed's restaurants and I was waiting for him to pick me up. Once he got there, we got in his car and we headed over to Washington, D.C. So we headed over to Halcyon. From my understanding of it, Halcyon was bought by a very, very rich person. And it's a very huge house, a very big piece of property in Washington, D.C., which costs tons and tons of money. The purpose of this house was to house other entrepreneurs have them live there for a couple months and this was a part of their Halcyon Incubator. I believe it's a program to house these entrepreneurs, have them be mentored, basically surrounded by other entrepreneurs and mentors for a couple months and get some guidance on their business and how to grow it. I'm going to share with you guys a quick clip from this video I found on YouTube to explain it a bit better. The Halcyon Incubator is designed to support social entrepreneurs with big game-changing ideas to critical 21st century challenges. Social entrepreneurs are an absolutely essential piece. Their job is to come up with radically new models, new business models and approaches for solving old problems. So during this event, the beginning of the event started off with multiple entrepreneurs going on stage and explaining their businesses. I believe they were just explaining to others, looking for investors, potentially guidance at the end of the event. But after all the entrepreneurs went on stage, explained their businesses, got some laughs, got some claps, it was time for Ahmed to go on stage. Ahmed was there to do a fireside chat along with a Q&A at the end of the event. Here are some clips from that. Uh, but he's the CEO and founder uh, of the Whole Prize Foundation, uh, which there was a Time Magazine cover story and they named the top five ideas that were changing the world. Uh, and Ahmad's organization was one of them, which is just incredible. He's been recognized as the 2018 GQ Entrepreneur of the Year. <laughs> Uh, 2017 CEO of the year uh, by the Ara by, by Arabian Business, the 2016 Esquire Magazine Entrepreneur of the Year. So, uh, so magazines really love this guy. Uh, Amara, welcome to the stage. Yeah. So the right founders are tinkerers. You guys know what tinkerers are? Tinkerers are people that just like to mess with stuff, right? And the best founders generally get the right idea through these insights and massive amounts of insights. So my first question, you guys know what insights are? Everybody here, right? There are things that bug you, right? Like you can walk, you're just experiencing your daily life. Why is there so many cars on the road? You know, why is the streets in short? Why are there so many holes uh, and bricks in the Georgetown company you walk with? You know, th these are insights, right? And, and tinkerers um, take insights and they turn them into idea fragments. And those idea fragments then end up becoming Businesses. After the event wrapped up, Ahmed stayed back a bit to talk with a bunch of people who want to get some tips, guidance, or just connect with him. I appreciate you guys watching this video. I haven't been on YouTube for a while. I decided to come back on YouTube today, which a year ago from today, I officially opened up my LLC. 
So I thought why not come back today, it's been on my mind. And I'm hoping to stay on this YouTube grind and publish a bunch of videos just like this for you guys. I hope you guys like it and I'm going to have a lot, lot more coming your way. Do not forget to join my entrepreneurship Facebook group. I have it linked in the description and you can find my Instagram and Facebook and all these other links in the description. If you want to ever chat with me, just shoot me a DM at Alex H and I'll be open to talking to anyone. I appreciate you guys watching and stay tuned for more. Make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell. Peace.